Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome back to another video. Gonna do a bit of a bit of an opening party. Um, just got a couple of figures here I bought from um, work. Um, another client was trying to sell them off, so I decided I'd pick them up. They were just cool. They they weren't going for much, so I thought I'd I thought I'd just grab them and add them to my collection, just to give them a nice home more than anything. So we have the Power of the Jedi, uh, Darth Vader, Emperor's Wrath. Um, I did get the vintage collection Emperor's Wrath figure, so. It's a little bit null and void, but it's okay. I'll find a spot for him. It does look quite cool. There's some uh, cool stuff. Oh, there's cool figures in Power of the Jedi. I really like that a lot. It was a cool line back in 2001. And the other one I got is Saga Collection number 038. Um, we've seen this Vader released a few times over the years since... Um, you know, Vader's get sort of repacked and reused multiple times, but it actually comes with some cool accessories, some crates and stuff. Um, you know, from the duel with Luke, where he starts just throwing bits of junk at him. So, thought for that alone, I thought it was worth the price of admission. Cool little hologram of Dooku in here. So it's cool. This was another great line of figures. Some really cool characters released in this line. I'd still like to get that Garandon. Did get that Momo Nade on a little while ago, uh, not too long ago, but I did pick him up to replace my Power of the Force one. And yeah, would really like to get that Garand and uh, the Spy because that's better than the uh, Power of the Force one that I've got. So let's crack them open. We're gonna, just going to go straight into it. And we've got the little Force file thing, Jedi Force file. Darth Vader, Emperor's Wrath, Strength, Speed, oh, funny stats and stuff. You can have a little pause and have a look at that if you like. Allies and enemies. Yeah, these are a little bit of fun for the kids back in the day, of which I was one. So here we have Vader. I'm gonna say that's a pretty vibrant red blade. That's cool. I dig it. So suppose the pre-posed cape, and that will sort of just lock on there. That's cool. Uh, swivels at the shoulder on that arm. No more movement in that arm. Uh, also a swivel there. Swivel at that. The top of the arm there, swivel there, and it just swivels at the legs. And some of that, some of that gloss black paint from his boots has gotten onto his pants. But uh, yeah, the top half seems to be just like a lightly, lightly painted sort of luminescent plastic. I'll get my phone torch and we'll shine through. Yeah, you can kind of see. It sort of put some light shades of black over the top of some of that. The bottom is as normal, but the top is all clear. So that's kind of cool. I like that. Much like some of the other ones, the Black Series one, you can kind of see some semblance of a mold of a skull or something in there. I'm not sure what the go with that is. I haven't ever seen one that's been sort of cut apart and pulled apart. But I'll put that cape back on. Put the lightsaber in his hand. Even though technically while he's being electrocuted he doesn't actually have his hand anymore. So that's okay. It's a nice, nice display piece. I'll probably just end up putting this on my Vader shelf as opposed to trying to find a scene for him. But it's a nice addition nonetheless. I, I like that one. It's cool. Always a fan of Darth Vader and his different variations and stuff like that. So that's cool. Let's get into the uh, Saga Collection one. Just completely mutilate that card back. Okay. Alright, so here we have a little Dooku hologram. Doesn't really want to focus on it, but 
You get the point. It's not bad. That's cool. We've got a few of these. But we'll take out the accessories. So really planted in there, so we've got just a sort of a crate, a box sort of thing, just to sort of sit to the side. Get another interesting little piece here. And one more. Yeah, I, love, I just love little little pieces like this. They just, you know, you put them into a, a scene with your figures and it's it just adds a little bit more life. Which is cool. Things like that. Alright. So here is Vader. He's got those uh, terrible swivel elbows that we all all hate so much. Uh, swivels at the shoulders. It's nice just to get a sort of feel for what these figures are. It's from 2005, so it could have been a uh, I oh, know this was uh, this line was 2006, so it was probably just made in 2005. Head sculpt's pretty good on this one. I haven't been able to nail Vader's head sculpt a great deal, but uh, this one looks pretty good. It's not too bad at all. The cape's cool. And nice seams on the edge. You could thread some wire into. Pretty sure they use the same sort of thing with the uh, the next couple of releases of Vader. He's got swivels at the wrists, uh, the waist there, swivels at the hips, and and uh, hinged knees and a swivel just under it. So not terrible, but yeah, by by today's standards, not so great. But again, it's a it's a good Empire Strikes Back Vader. You know, he's kind of got a pretty cool pose. You know, this would be a good one for Cloud City. You know, you can't have him holding two both hands, but at the start of the duel where Vader's really just sort of showing up, showing up Luke and just, you know, not really taking him that seriously. He's fighting with one arm. Uh, you could definitely sort of have that pose there. But that's not bad. Some of the sort of red from the lightsabers bled onto that sort of little elastic band. So I'll pop that off. Still, still kind of insane to think that these are these have been in packaging for you know almost twenty years. Well, the other Darth Vader, the first one that I opened, was yeah twenty years. It's been sitting there in its packaging, only to breathe air for the first time today. You can sort of have the handout. Join me, Luke. It is your destiny. That's actually that's actually a pretty good pose, to be honest. That might actually work. Because um, I'm getting a 3D printer hopefully in the next couple of weeks. Um, and yeah, I've got some got some ideas for some scenes and stuff that I want to print out, little diorama pieces. And that would actually be really good for that scene with Vader and Luke on the on the platform there. Join me. That's cool. I like it. I, I dig this figure actually. You know, aesthetically it's great. Articulation wise, not so much. Uh, details are pretty solid on it though. So, I'll, you know, for a 15 plus year old figure, it's, I'm pretty happy with it. Paint details reasonable. Sculpt's good. So there's a couple of couple of cool Vader figures. I'm I'm glad to at least the collection. So yeah, I'm uh, pretty happy with these. You know, when you want to get scene specific, there's always so many scenes you can fill with Vader. You don't need one per per movie. You can have multiples per film. Uh, per shelf, so that's what exactly what I've got here. So 
yeah, thanks for watching guys. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Please drop them in the comments below. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. And uh, yeah, check all my social media links and stuff in the comments below. It would be greatly appreciated. Um, yeah, until next one. May the force be with you always.